Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. I'm happy to see you. This video is the third episode of my No Buy 2022 challenge that I set up for myself. I have made the first video in the beginning of January about the rules that I set for myself. Uh, before you watch this video, if you haven't seen that one, I suggest that you look it up. Um, I'm going to link it up here. Um, in that video I just explain why and in which areas of my life I'm doing a no buy slash low buy year in order to save money and uh, have a less lesser impact on the environment as well. This video is uh, the second month, end of second month check-in. Today is the 1st of March. Uh, we have uh, gone through February without any major any major expenses or any major uh, fails in the challenge, luckily. But I'm gonna go through all the eight categories that I have been mentioning in the previous videos uh, to tell you how it went in each of these categories in the last month of February. We all know February is a bit of shorter month than, than other months are, two, three days shorter. So um, it is in a way a bit easier to keep to your budget and stick to a challenge but um, I'm doing the whole year thing so I'm happy to say that I am done with two months out of the 12 so <laughs> let's count our blessings shall we? I have my notes here as usual uh, for the things that I would like to talk about today um, and a list of the categories that I'm supposed to mention. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, all the prices or everything that I'm going to talk about is going to be in euros because I'm based in Austria where we use this uh, currency. So the first category in which I'm doing the low buy or let's say a strict budget is groceries. Um, in the first video I explained why I set uh, this budget for this category for me which is a 200 euros per month budget so um grocery category i have spent 143.82 euros out of the 200 uh, euro budget which is fantastic um i'm not quite sure what i did so special actually i didn't really stick to my once in a week grocery shopping I went when I needed something but I feel like I went less to do groceries than normally in the months of January I did some grocery haul videos in February I didn't really do any of those I didn't go discount shopping I didn't do a comparing to stores video um, I just was eating what I had at home mostly uh, and only went to the grocery store when I was really running out of anything to eat and uh, I even made one video similar to last uh, last month when I was just showing you what I eat in a week. Um, a couple of days I was back home in Hungary where I didn't have to really spend on groceries because uh, yeah came from my mom's budget <laughs> um, but I did bring home some stuff from, from my own um, pantry and especially fridge um, which we ate there so it kind of like equals itself out plus we went on a holiday we went on a ski trip with a friend and we actually brought groceries there or bought groceries there. Uh, we were staying in an apartment where we could cook. So our, we made all our dinners ourselves and that uh, budget is also included here. So in this 143 euros, all those days when we were at our holiday, anything that I got in a grocery store are also included. So this means that in the past two months overall I have spent 320 euros on um, groceries uh, and the budget was over 400 euros which means now I have around 80 euros that I can work with and use to maybe stock up some things in my pantry or in my freezer. So probably that's what I'm gonna do just to have this 
kind of safety net and have uh, some long-term storage items uh, in my apartment. I'm not going to set up a whole long-term pantry storage situation, but um, I feel comfortable knowing that I have food at home just in case, uh, especially I feel okay with uh, piling up some items that I use frequently and that don't expire very fast, like a couple of months or even years. One of the things within the grocery budget that I specifically mentioned um, in the previous videos is alcohol. So alcohol comes from this same budget. Um, well, alcohol that I buy in a supermarket, if I go out, that would go into my um, eating out budget. And this month uh, I started to drink alcohol again. Last month I did a dry January. This month I didn't really specially focus on not drinking or drinking. Um, however, I had surprisingly many days when I consumed alcohol because I'm still tracking it with this app that I use for dry January and it turns out that I drank some kind of alcohol on 13 out of 28 days in February, which for me was a bit of a surprise. I thought that I was drinking maybe once or twice a week, which would be, you know, eight, eight, ten times a month, but it's, it seems like it's 13 times a month. But every time I was drinking something from my own um, storage, so things that I already had, or, you know, someone else <laughs> was keeping me uh, from there. Stash of alcohol, I guess. Uh, that's how you could say. So, um, which means I didn't spend any money on alcohol and I still have quite uh, some things at home. So I can definitely go one more month without purchasing any alcohol um, at all. We'll see. The second category that I would like to talk about is gifts. So I mentioned in, at the end of last month or the beginning of this month when I did my January check-in that I didn't spend any... Oh God! This has been ongoing for the past two days. Let's try again. <laughs> so I mentioned uh, in the during the last video that I didn't spend anything from my gifts budget which is 30 euros per month and that I have some birthdays in February that I that I need to purchase gifts for but at the end I have not yet purchased gifts so for one of the for two of the birthdays I already had gifts and for the third one I uh, yet to purchase a present because the celebration will be later uh, of the birthday. Um, however, I spent €9.99 on one a Valentine's Day gift. So yeah, I spent that amount. Uh, so I still have from my whole uh, year annual budget, which is €30 Euros in January and another €30 in February, I still have €50 Euros from that. And um, now for March, I'm adding another €30 and I'm continuing uh, with the challenge. The third category is clothing and accessories. In this uh, category I have a no buy year with two exceptions that I had. The first exception was a uh, gym bra which I purchased in January and the second exception was an everyday backpack which I purchased in February. So from now on the rule is I am not allowed to buy anything, any clothes or accessories or anything related to that. Um, I have ticked the two exceptions from the list. I finally got a new backpack after all those months that I have been talking about getting a new backpack. And I spent uh, a little bit over 20 euros on it. I got it back home in Hungary in a small uh, store. Um, it is a little fake leather bag. Uh, I don't know how long it will last. To be fair, the previous backpack that I had, I had it since 2016 or 2017, probably 2017. So I had it for a bit over four years 
and it was also um, around 25 euros or 30 euros when I got it and uh, it lasted me for three, three to four years which uh, with this backpack if it will last me that long that's gonna be good I was actually looking at some other better quality like made of recycled material backpacks online um, however I wasn't sure about the colors that they had available plus their price is obviously three four times as much as what I actually uh, ended up spending plus I could not see it in real life right so i, I don't really like ordering stuff online <laughs> because um well first of all uh this uh, sending and then resending if it doesn't fit um is very uh, unsustainable and also just uh, this extra work of having to resend it uh, is just not something that i want to do <laughs> and there is also one more thing that moved in with me uh, a clothing item which is a jumper a knitted sweater in fact uh, which i picked up just a couple of days ago from uh, this uh, it's called nachbarschaft centrum it's kind of like a neighborhood social help organization i don't really know exactly what they do like they organize some events for the people who live in this area within vienna so like the the bezirk <laughs> Uh, they have it for each of the the city districts and uh, they sometimes organize flea markets and they also have a little store where they sell second-hand stuff um, they have events like uh, speaking German with each other kind of event and events for old people as well or pensionists and yeah I mentioned it in my previous video that uh, they many times have just i think random people just bring stuff there to them which they expect them that they will try to sell but many of these items end up actually just in the windows of this um, corner uh, office where they are based and yeah every time i pass it there are things just there that you can take for free i picked up books from there uh, before and this time I picked up a sweater that I, I saw it, it looks like a very nice sweater maybe someone knitted it I mean it looks like it could be handmade by someone in the area maybe uh, but it's very nice maybe a bit big for me I didn't try it on yet I still need to wash it so <laughs> I'm gonna do that and then after that uh, I will let you know if it fit if not I'm gonna bring it back and someone else can take it who is <laughs> who fits it better um, and I sold <clears throat> one item so I earned 10 euros with that one item last month my sales went a little bit better I hope that in March I can sell a little bit more stuff and and now I just don't want to store the for sale items for too long anymore so after that we will so slowly donate the things. <clears throat> Fourth category in which I'm doing low buy, where I have a stricter budget than previously skincare, which includes hygiene products and makeup and yeah, any skincare, uh, where I have a 30 euro per month um, budget. In January, I spent around five euros in that uh, era, in, in, from that budget. And in this month, I had a couple of things that I finished um, so I had to replace them, for example, I had to replace my hand soap, the sunscreen for my face, the toothbrush and stuff like that I had to repurchase, for which I have spent a total of 25 euros and 68 cents, so it is still within my 30 euro budget. Uh, and the plan for March is basically the same, just continue using things. There are some uh, products that I used up and I didn't replace them yet. I'm trying to see how my skin reacts and how my skin feels, if I have to repurchase them or I can, or if I can actually just live without them completely and leave them out of my routine, which would mean that I would save money in, in the future. Um, special mention is to the period products. I still didn't purchase any period related product products this month, so I'm just gonna continue with that. Fifth category, books. <laughs> well, um, 
Actually, this is this category is a bit of a combination because for books I have a, a no buy or at least yeah I actually have a no buy for books for now. <laughs> Let's see if I ever go to a charity store, if I can leave without buying any books, but for now I haven't been to any. Uh, so I haven't purchased any books uh, as well, because I told myself this year I can only purchase second-hand books or get books for free. So actually this month uh, I picked up once again a free book, just last weekend I was in a park and this park has this uh, bookshelf, bookcase situation where people can leave books and people can take anything uh, that they might like. So I found one book which seemed to be interesting, it's a 30, over 30 year old book, um, but the story somehow feels relatable today, <laughs> so in a t today's society and, um, and situation in general. So I picked it up um, and yeah, we'll see uh, how, how it is. I finished an audiobook this month, so I purchased a new audiobook from my already available credits that I already paid for last year or end of last year. Um, and I finished two physical books. Uh, the first one that I finished was a book that I purchased secondhand last year and the second one was a book that I got for Christmas and I started a new book and uh, this new book that I'm reading right now, well it's not new, um, I picked it up also for free uh, another time last year. So I'm doing great uh, on, <laughs> on that side. Uh, free entertainment, hey, yeah. What I spent on, however, within this budget category, which is movies, uh, books, uh, series, theater, cinema, uh, and I also included sport in this category. Uh, if I go, you know, skating, if I rent something, let's say, for sport, or if I go to the gym, which I don't go. <laughs> But basically I have a 5 euro budget for this and in the previous months I didn't spend anything and this month I ended up uh, subscribing to Eurosport Player which is supposed to be 6 euro 99 cents however I paid or at least from my bank account they discounted uh, 8 euros and 13 cents if someone could explain to me why I paid over 8 euros for something which was supposed to cost 6 euro 99 that would be great maybe i went to the german side and in germany 6 euro 99 but in austria it's more but all, like 8 euros 13 would never make sense to me because these subscriptions like to charge like charging you with something 0.99 right so like something 0.13 doesn't make any sense Anyway, I bought a Eurosport player just for the month of February, I already cancelled it, I did it because it was the month of the Olympic Games in Beijing and I wanted to have an unlimited access to all the events that they were showing. Well, my main focus was on figure skating, which was screened mostly during the night and the last time when I the, the last time during the Winter Olympics in 2018, I was trying to find free streams, but it was always difficult. There was a lot of uh, ads, and and then I or I could find only uh, other languages that I didn't understand, and then maybe they were not showing the whole event. So yeah, I decided that this time I just want to have a comfortable and sure and certain access to to this so I ended up investing in that and it's already cancelled so that was just for the two weeks of the games. Um, another thing that I spent on within this category is that um, on the birthday of, uh, of my friend Joanna we went ice skating and I ended up actually scoring my for myself a free ticket to the um, Ice Palace at the city center, at the Rathaus, the, in front of the city hall. I wanted to buy a ticket online and uh, I, I learned that uh, Vienna has a Vienna card or a Vienna voucher or something like that that you can register for online. 
but it's not a card because it's not physical but you do need to do a registration online and then you can uh, buy tickets to sites or museums or events uh, within the city with discount so for for the ice room, the ice cream <laughs> at the rat house they had i think 50 percent off i don't remember anymore yeah i think if yeah with this voucher you could get the 50 50 percent of your ticket which is the ticket costs around eight euros or eight and a half euros maybe and then i was trying to purchase a ticket but it was not working the, the coupon Coupon was unfortunate. Let's get back to the story. Where was I? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I was unable to purchase this discounted ticket with the code that they were giving. And I actually wrote them an email saying like, hi guys, I was trying to purchase this and it's not working. Can you advise me on what might be the problem? And they're like, yeah, it actually doesn't work uh, seven times out of ten or something. I tried many, many times. It didn't work at all. Um, anyway, <laughs> they were kind enough to say, well, since it was not working and you reached out uh, to us, uh, in, uh, we would like to apologize to you for this inconvenience and we offer you a free ticket and you can pick it up from us. And their office was very close actually to the location of the ice rink so i was like yeah great um free ticket to the place where i was always dreaming to go to actually to ice skate there and actually it was a bit of a disappointment um for someone who likes to skate and for someone who doesn't just circle around skating i like to do some tricks sometimes i mean i used to be a skater i used to ice skate and i i know how to do things and I enjoy doing that, um, but there were many people, not so much space, and some like they should somehow separate the people from each other because there were people who were very uncertain of what they are doing. Um, they didn't know how to skate very well, and some other people who were just too brave and too fast and too dangerous. Um, and so I didn't feel comfortable from both of these categories. Um, so I was just like. Yeah, going around with with, uh, with Jonah and uh, her other friends and boyfriend <sighs> um, and I didn't enjoy it so I'm happy that I didn't give uh, out mo almost 9 euros <laughs> for this experience however I had to spend 3 euros on a, um, on a wardrobe uh, locker thing which is quite expensive to spend 3 euros on putting your stuff uh, in a safe place until you are out there skating but I didn't want to carry my backpack and my shoes <laughs> and my jacket and everything with me the whole time so I put the three euros in this budget as well which means I I spent 11 euros um, from this uh, category technology is the sixth item in which I didn't spend uh, I have a no spend on technology unfortunately I'm going to break this no spend in March because just the other day my epilator broke uh, as I was um, <laughs> using it. I purchased the this epilator three years ago when uh, my previous one broke, which I had for six, seven, eight years. Like the previous one was my first epilator and I got it when I was a teenager and I used it until 2019. And then that broke, so I had to buy a new one. I bought a new one without any any research actually i didn't know anything about the one that i bought uh, i was at that time uh, traveling i was working abroad and um, i was quite busy so i didn't really have the chance i was just going to the store where i could find the first one which was not too expensive i just got it um but it lasted me for three years so i'm not mad uh, it could have lasted me longer <laughs> i didn't see it coming at all it was such a surprise that it broke um so in march i'm definitely going to buy a new one uh, but i'm gonna do a better research and maybe invest in a, a better quality one which will last me for let's say 10 years if, if that's even possible with today's electric electronics 
I don't know. But if you have any good recommendations for an epilator, which I'm primarily using for my legs, then let me know down below in the comment section. Um, the seventh category in which uh, I have a no spend, uh, well, not a no spend, but a low spend are supplies. So this is mostly cleaning supplies, but also like kitchen utensils or yeah, just household items, um, let's say. And in this category, I have a 20 euro budget for the month. Uh, continuing on the breaking things <laughs> in February, I also broke my the glass part of my coffee coffee press. Uh, I'm using a coffee press to make coffee, which uh, is the, I guess the most sustainable solution to make coffee. Um, and I have no problem with the coffee that it makes. Like I don't need a very strong espresso kind of, of coffee, although I do like that. So, <laughs> well, if I ever have the space and the yeah, if I ever have the space in my kitchen, because currently I couldn't put a nice espresso machine here, but if I ever have it, I will. That that's my like dream for the future, um, or one of the plans for the future, let's say. But for now, I'm gonna stick to the um, coffee press. And I broke the glass of it. Uh, very clumsy me. And um, and so I went to the store, to Müller, where I actually originally purchased the coffee, this coffee press that I have. I have a Bedum coffee press, which is quite a nice brand, I, I'd say. And um, at that time, I think I paid 14 euro 99 for it. It was two years ago uh, and it was on sale. And then this time the coffee press would have cost me 30 euros. And I was looking around like, is there another option? Is there another brand? And so on and so on. And then suddenly I'm like, oh, look at that. They actually sell the just the glass part. So I don't have to purchase the whole coffee press. I can just buy the broken glass thing and replace it. And that's fantastic because it's more sustainable as well. I don't have to throw out the two parts, the two other parts of the coffee press, which are, which are perfectly fine. I just buy a new glass and put it in and it works. So I was very happy to see that. Um, uh, Bodum, you are doing it right. This is how it should be, to be able to repurchase parts of things that could be, which could be broken. And I spent only eight euros something on that part rather than 30 euros on the whole new coffee press. So I was very happy. Overall in this category, uh, including some cleaning items as well that I purchased, I spent 14 euros and four, 40 cents um, out of my 20 euro budget. So I stayed within budget uh, and I'm rolling over what is left over to the next month. Uh, in January, I mentioned that I didn't purchase citric acid, which was the only thing that was my purchase list uh, in this category. And I still didn't do that because I still didn't go to a zero waste store. Uh, so maybe March, we'll see. <laughs> And the last category that I uh, have a low spend on, I have a budget of 50 euros per month, actually. So I'm, I'm saving up every month 50 euros in the furniture category, um, kind of in advance for anything that I might need to purchase throughout the years or throughout the month. Um, I mentioned in the previous two videos that I have one bigger purchase pending, uh, which is the um, which is the entryway wardrobe uh, for the apartment back in Hungary where my mom lives, um, and I, <laughs> and this wardrobe is still not purchased, uh, not being made. The material is still not purchased. Um, don't even ask what's happening there. It's like, it's giving me a lot of stress and anxiety. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. But basically, currently I have around 200 euros saved up, uh, which this wardrobe will, will definitely cost more than that. But currently I have 200 euros saved up for this. And then if finally we will go through with uh, buying, <laughs> or paying for this wardrobe then then I will kind of redistribute some funds to to fund the, the rest of the, the furniture but other than that uh, I didn't spend anything in February I didn't spend anything in January I really don't need anything outside of that one thing um, so let's see how things go 
Um, and now we have finished with the categories. Um, what I mentioned in the last video is that I rather spend now and collect experiences. So in February we went on a ski trip. So basically my biggest expense in this month was actually the ski trip. I spent almost 600 euros on it, not including the food that we ate because that came from my grocery budget and from my eating out uh, budget. So this includes the accommodation, the ski tickets. Uh, it also includes fuel uh, for the car, back and forth, and also on site we were kind of driving around. Um, what else? Yeah, just in general, like I didn't have to buy equipment, which is good. I had everything. I bought the skis last month, right? So um, yeah, that was the big expense this month, but this was something that I wanted to spend on rather than any other things on which I have a low buy, right? So I want to use the money that I would spend on things, on spending on experiences. And in March, we are also planning another trip. Um, this time, probably not a ski trip, <laughs> but just a normal trip also within Austria. Uh, it's gonna be also a shorter one, most likely. And also my mom is going to visit me, so there will be experiences. <laughs> coming to the end of the video it's okay because this dude is just drilling and drilling and I'm so over it <laughs> but finally but, but luckily um, I managed to shoot uh, this video uh, with a little bit of uh, madness <laughs> anyway um, just as we are finishing up he starts drilling again so I'm just gonna say goodbye and I hope it doesn't sound quality that badly and I can say goodbye and uh, I hope to see you at my next video if you like this content or if you would like to follow uh, my journey with this no buy low buy 2022 then subscribe to the channel and hit the like button to support me and I hope to see you at my next video bye bye